Uh, my name is Prof. Levo Rafani Matemani. I'm an Associate Professor of Physiology at Hypertension in Africa Research Team that is known as HART and falls under the Faculty of Health Sciences at Northwest University. Uh, so um, at HART, I am involved in a variety of research projects and my focus in all this research that's been undertaken by the team is to investigate what biomarkers or abnormalities in the kidney can contribute to the development of high blood pressure, which is uh, also known as hypertension. Um, so in the past 10 years, I have been a co-investigator in uh, several projects. I'll just highlight the two that are recent. And the first one is the African PREDICT study, where we look at early uh, changes in the heart, kidneys, and blood vessels, which can predict development of cardiovascular disease in future. So what we have seen is with a, a focus on the kidney is that some biomarkers are elevated in certain uh, groups, especially uh, populations of African ancestry, or they are not in their normal levels. And when we look at that over time, for example, over five years, we see that they are influencing the blood pressure, meaning that the, when those uh, markers are in an altered or level that is not 100% normal, we see the blood pressure going up over five years. And that tells us that there's an increase in the risk for hypertension development based on that biomarker that we measured. And then the second study that uh, I would like to highlight is in children, is in the examined youth uh, as a study. I'm a co-investigator there and the study is led by one of my colleagues. Also there we noticed that some um, markers that we measured in urine are associated with an increased risk for high blood pressure in children. So looking at these different population groups, at this point, uh, my research contribution uh, uh, together with my, my colleagues here at Heart, has generated knowledge that gives us an understanding of what factors are involved in um, increasing the risk for high blood pressure in future. And some of them, for example, it, uh, salt intake, increase, uh, high salt intake being associated with an increase in blood pressure. And uh, in the African British study, we saw with the socioeconomic status, people with low socioeconomic status um, have some biomarkers related to the kidney that are associated um, unfavorably with um, measurements that we take in the heart. Again, telling us that these uh, measures that we are taking either in blood or by asking people questions about um, their conditions, where they working, education level, where they live, what they eat, how much they exercise, Together, those can tell us with, with the knowledge that we have generated that the risk for increased blood pressure is there in this group because of low socioeconomic status, high salt intake, high levels of um, biomarkers in urine, uh, such as alpha-1, microglobulin, uh, aldosterone. That's an example of, of the markers that we use. But now we have that foundation, the understanding of what factors contribute to the increased risk for high blood pressure in our young uh, population and also children uh, around um, porch because this is where we uh, recruit participants.